Amid all of the destruction and devastation Florence left behind in the Carolinas tonight, we're seeing some heartwarming rescues and reunions. We've been keeping a close eye on the dozens of animals getting saved from floodwaters from across the Carolinas. Take a look at this dog trapped on a porch when PETA's rescue team spotted him in Lumberton and brought him to safety. Our own Rachel Lumberg has been out with PETA for the last couple of days while they made some of those incredible rescues. And she joins us tonight from Lumberton, where she had a very special reunion today. House after house, dogs and cats left to survive Hurricane Florence alone. We need more people to know that this is, happens and this is a problem and that when people evacuate, they need to take their animals with them because when they leave them, it's devastating for them and they will very likely die and these guys are lucky that they are alive. As NBC Charlotte rode through floodwaters with PETA to save animals, hundreds of comments were popping up about the efforts and the state of this black dog. So we had to find him. Here he is. Hey buddy. During our rescues yesterday, finding these animals that were left behind during Hurricane Florence, one of the biggest questions is what happens to these dogs and these cats that are found? Where do they go? And this guy was definitely a fan favorite, so we had to come find out. So the Robinson County Animal Shelter is the central command uh, for lost animals. During a natural disaster? During a natural disaster, that is correct. All cats and dogs rescued will be held here. Right now, we have had at least 20 reclaims so far. The animals found are not up for adoption yet. Once this kind of calms down, we'll assess it. We'll see how many animals we have, what rescues are willing to take those animals, and then we'll just start pleading out to the public, come on, and we might have an adoption event to try to get some of these animals out. They've already rescued about 155 dogs during Hurricane Florence that have been left behind. This one was one of them. We love him so much, and calls are still coming in. Just a devastating reality here in Lumberton. I'm Rachel Lundberg reporting NBC Charlotte.